Welcome back. We are now 275 days away from political pundits are calling the most consequential presidential election in U.S. history. Joining me right now with reaction is South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, who is also the author of the forthcoming book, No Going Back, which is slated to be released this May. Governor, good to have you. Thanks very much for being here this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for inviting me. So let me get your take first on President Trump. Has he contacted you about potentially being his running mate? No, we talk all the time, but we've never had that conversation. Ah. Uh, I just talk about ways that we could really help our country during this critical time in history. So, Governor, tell us about this critical time. Uh, what kind of stakes do you see uh, in 275 days with the upcoming presidential election? Well, just look at what we've gone through the last four years. We saw governments and the president uh, break federal law. We saw them take away fundamental freedoms that are protected in our Constitution, our freedom of assembly, our freedom of religion, freedom of speech. Now we see the president undermining our country by allowing this invasion at the southern border, and it's destabilizing our country. So you look at how quickly America is becoming more and more uncertain every single day. The fact we continue to borrow money from China to run our government, and then we're just handing it out to people who aren't even citizens here. It's, it's a very consequential time because because it's escalating so quickly. And if we don't shut this down, get a new leader in the White House that loves this country, I don't know how long it'll be around. And of course, you've endorsed President Trump. I want to get your take on what he said regarding communist China. You've been very good uh, pushing back against uh, the communist China and Chinese Party's uh, efforts to acquire land in your state. Tell me what's at stake. Well, we've been fighting to make sure that China can't own our property, but that's just based on the knowledge that the last 30 years I've worked in in policy. I've seen them buy up our fertilizer companies. I saw China buy up chemical companies. They own our processing systems for our food supply. Very concerned that if they buy the land, they will complete that cycle. And when they control our food, they will control us. Now, remember everything that China does every day to undermine America. They manipulate their currency. They steal our IP. I believe they're using the southern border to get people into this country to collect data and to spy on us. They're not just using balloons. They're using every tool that they have. And that's the people of the CCP that are in here gathering information in our communities that they will use against us. Remember, China has had a plan for thousands of years to be a world power, a one dominating world power, and that is their goal. And they will put their people through horrific things in order to make that happen. Well, I mean, you make I'm a good point hopeful. because you can't just pick up and leave uh, communist China. You need to have approval right. uh, for that. President Trump just told me a moment ago he does believe that these military aged men who are showing up at the southern border from China are being directed by the Communist Party. Is that what you're saying as well? Absolutely. I was down there a few days ago, Maria. And remember, three years ago, I was the very first governor in this country to send my National Guard to the to the southern border because I believe it is a war zone. Uh, but when I was down there just a few days ago, um, the vast majority of people I saw crossing the border at that point in time was military-aged men. And the reason that the federal government went after Texas was because they'd actually figured out a way to put up the razor wire that was impenetrable, that people could not get through. They said even those able-bodied, military-aged men could not get through the barrier at that point. And it was so effective that that's when the federal government came after Texas to take it down. So uh, we're deploying all of our resources that we have to support Texas. And remember, Democrats have been encouraging this president. They've been encouraging President Biden to come after our state's rights. They've been talking about federalizing our National Guard, which would be the first time in American history that we would have a president that would pay soldiers to stand down to actually not protect America. Uh, and if he's willing to do that and to take away my authority as governor, as commander in chief of those National Guard, boy, we do have a war on our hands. Wow. So why do you think that is? What is his motivation for allowing all of these illegals to come into America and, and, and give them prepaid credit cards and housing and health care and, and all the rest? He's weak. And somebody's Somebody's running the White House. I don't believe it's Joe Biden. He's never been this extreme. This is an extreme remaking of America, and it is a socialist, communist agenda. I think that they've so infiltrated um, the Democrat Party that it's no longer the Democrat Party of 20 years ago. It's now a socialist party that does not want a strong America. The people that are coming across that southern border aren't coming here to to be like American citizens, to love our country, to protect our freedoms. They're not coming here because they love our Constitution. Some of them are coming for opportunity. 
Uh, but they're being manipulated by the Mexican cartels and put in very dangerous situations. And the fact of the matter is, is that you talk to anybody who's in Border Patrol, in ICE, down there in the Texas National Guard or Public Safety, they say you have to come to this country right. Yes, the humanity and the inhumanity, what we're seeing down here is horrific, what Joe Biden's allowing to have happen, but you have to do things right mm -hmm. or else you have consequences that, that we will pay for with sure. our freedoms. Governor, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks very much. We'll be watching your mm -hmm. work. Thank you, Maria. South Appreciate Dakota it. Governor Kristi Noem joining us this morning.